All right, this is a little video demonstration of how to find the volume of an irregular object. At this point, we've already learned how to find the volume of regular shapes, um, such as rectangles. You could do length times width times height. Um, we've also learned how to find the volume of cylinders by doing the area of the base times the height. And if we had a cylindrical shaped object, we could do the area of the base, pi r squared, times the height. But what if we have an object that we don't know the formula for? Um, a rock is the question I asked in class, most likely. That's what we call an irregular shaped object. I don't have a rock here, but I do have a marble. It's a sphere. There is an equation for that, but it's nothing that we're going to learn here in eighth grade physical science. So I'm going to treat this like it's an irregularly shaped object where there's no equation for it. So how do I find the volume of that, or how much space it takes up? We're going to use a method called the water displacement method. And the way you do that is you take your graduated cylinder, and you put in some water. You get to decide how much. You just want to make sure you leave some room above the water level that's got some markings on it so you can see how much the water level rises. I know this is going to be hard for you to see, uh, but it looks like that's about 38 milliliters. You would want to be very precise um, with your measurements, of course. I'm going to come up here and write down our starting volume. of 38 milliliters. I'm going to draw a little picture here to help with your understanding. So that is our initial situation. What I'm going to do now is place the marble, the irregular object, into the cylinder and it's going to displace the water. Displace means to, to move out of the way or to push out of the way. Uh, when I do that I need to be very careful not to just drop it straight down in there because if I do some of the water might splash out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tip the cylinder a little bit and then roll that marble down in there. And you can, maybe you can't see, but the water level rose a little bit. It looks like it went up to about uh, 41 milliliters. 41 milliliters is the water level now. So there we go. Let's look at my picture here. Oops, 41 milliliters, that's with the marble in, and the water level rose. So what is the volume of the marble? Well, to find the volume of your irregular object, you just simply subtract those two numbers, because that's going to tell you how much water was displaced. This went up 3 milliliters. So that must be the volume of what you placed in there. So you just take your final volume minus your initial volume.